two great stars and their contestant partners are going to have close calls. <laughs> Narrow escapes. Split second decisions. And a chance at $25,000 of cash. A combination guaranteed to make you say. And now here's the host of our show, Tom Kennedy. All right. Hi again. Welcome to our show. I am very happy to introduce our two stars for the coming week, ladies and gentlemen, Marsha Wallace and Clifton Davis. Marsha, oh my God, how elegant you are. Oh. Mm. See you. Hello, you. Hello, Tom. What a beautiful pair we have here. Two of America's favorite stars. The Bob Newhart Show. Is that the greatest? Mm -hmm. uh, how many years ago? Six, six, six years. Six years. Oh, yeah, it was wonderful. And also a star of theater. I Marcia. do. I'm right. I went to Omaha. I've been everywhere. I know. Sure. And Clifton, of course, we all remember him from That's My Mama. Well. And he is also, also a star of the big screen, little screen, theater. And a musical star, you know that song, Never Can Say Goodbye? He, he wrote, wrote that it. song. You want me to sing it? <laughs> Come and talk right. we, got, we got a game okay. to play. Oh, have we? Yeah. Let's play it then. Here's our uh, champ, Michael Ramsey. Yay, Michael! And here's our challenger, Penny Pacala. Hello, Michael. You met Michael. Michael, tell everyone once again who you are. Who are you, Michael? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I'm a native Californian. Yeah. I have a dual associate of arts degree in business management and accounting. And I'm presently a flight attendant for an international airline. How do you like that for a Renaissance man? Huh? Gee, mm -hmm. And around. the Penny Pacala story. Yes, I <laughs> live in Anaheim. I have two little girls. I go to school full time and work part time. Did you ever just ride on that down. thing, that roller coaster that goes backwards at Knott's Berry Farm? I've always wanted to do that. Never, just the one at Magic Mountain. <laughs> See, I lived in New York and I never went to Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, well, well. Isn't All that right. bore you to death? Yeah. <laughs> no. Human now listen, last time when we interrupted very our game, human. yeah, <laughs> very human though. <laughs> Michael Ramsey had just won the first round. So for round two, Penny and Clifton will charge the board and Michael and Marsha will block the board. Now you see the charges go behind the arrows and the blockers go behind the stop sign, so take your position, and there they go. Now here's all you have to do, Clifton, to win. It's so simple. Sure. All you have to do to win a round is you get from the bottom of the board up to the top of the board within 60 seconds. However, Marsha and Michael, M.M. over there are going to play six <laughs> blocks somewhere on that board, and every time you hit one of those blocks, you lose five seconds on the clock. Mm. But if you get to the top, you win the round. And if you don't get to the top, they win the round, and whoever wins two rounds wins the game and all the money gathered along the way, and a chance at $25,000. Oh, right. Now, charge on out of here. Clifton and Penny, there they go, out of sight and out of hearing. And now you guys get to play six blocks. And you may place only one block on the sixth level, no more than three on any of the remaining ones, and you'll be credited with the amount of money attached to the blocks that your opponents might encounter. Michael, the first three blocks are yours. I would like uh, level five, 20, and 50. All right, one more. And level six, 500. All right. Marsha. Tom. <laughs> Tom, I would like level three, 30, 40, and 50. Oh, is that right? That's well, it. you came to play. I did. Let's do it then. Well, very interesting. Now, the score, I will remind you, is Michael and Marsha have one round to nothing. That's what we have inherited. Uh -huh. It's kids here. Now, you two remember this. If time is running short, either of you can call long shot. Now, since you're going to alternate levels, Penny, you tell me who's going to start. I think I will. All right, Penny, it's kids. 60 seconds on the clock. So giving me the level and the money amount. Charge. Level 110. 110. The children's game where you must obey a leader's command is called Simon Legree. Simon says. Charge, Griffin. Level 250. 250. Be prepared is the motto of Planned Parenthood. Uh, Boy Scouts. Charge, Level Penny. 310. 310. Little Miss Muffet sat on it. Uh, tough it. Charge, Clifton. Level 4, 40. 440. In kindergarten, children learn how to tie their teacher up. Nah. <laughs> Same level 4. Level 450. 450. JFK named the presidential jet after his daughter, Piper Cub. Carol. Charge, Penny. Level 510. 510. To improve their grades, many students enroll in Evelyn Wood's speed-taking course. Speed-reading course. Charge, Clifton. Level 6, 500. 6, 500. Yeah. Block. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Same level level six. six, two. Six, two hundred. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow casket. Basket. Oh, 
<laughs> you saw it, too. You got me. Didn't you? you know, I'm, of course I was watching that. Yes, yes. Oh, my Three goodness. Seconds left. I, didn't, I hope I didn't blow the sound man's ears out. No. <laughs> On level four in kindergarten, children learn how to tie their shoes. shoes. I couldn't think of that. <laughs> then you'll learn how to teach, they tie the teacher up. That comes later. All right, come on over here. Oh, we have a tie situation. Come on over, oh. Michael and Marsha. You have one round, they have one round. That means we have a tiebreaker coming up. Whoever wins the next round will have a chance at $25,000. The category is 20th century. Michael, it is your choice. On the 20th century, you want to charge or block? Charge. Charge, he says. Charge that out of here. You two get over there in blocking position, and we'll have our tiebreaker after this. Welcome back to our tie-breaking round. Our charge is already tucked away, out of sight, out of hearing. And here we go. Here, whoever wins this round has a chance for $25,000. Mm -hmm. The subject is 20th century, mm -hmm. and the first three blocks are yours, Penny. Where are you going to put them? Uh, level 6, 500. Yeah. Level 4, 50. Mm -hmm. And 30. All right. Clifton. Level 5, 50. Level 5, 40. And level three, 20. Uh-huh. One and two are free rides, and watch out after that, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Tiebreaker. Whoever wins this round yes. will have a chance at $25,000 for the contestant, then. But is. no pressure here, Tom. But no pressure. <laughs> I just say that to put you at ease. Thank you so That's much. All I'm getting right. the vapes. That's my job. <laughs> it's the 20th century. And now, I want you to tell me, though, Michael, who's going to start? Marsha's gonna go first. Marsha's gonna go first. It's 20th century. Yes, what? Okay, level one. But oh, no, wait a minute. I'm not ready yet. I thought you had a question. <laughs> oh, no, it's 20th no. century. I want you to see I'm there's so 60 eager. seconds, and you remember about the long shot. All right, now, giving me the level and the money amount. Charge. Uh, level one, ten dollars. One ten. Uh, others had flown the Atlantic in pairs, but Lindbergh was the first to fly Lufthansa. At the Atlantic. <laughs> oh. Same level one. Twenty. One twenty. In 1928, America selected Hoover as their vacuum cleaner. President. Charge. Level 250. 250. The Constitution says, uh, states, the rights of citizens to sleep shall not be denied because of sex. Word. <laughs> Same level. Level two. 240. 240. The graffiti used by many GI during World War II read, "Kill Roy before he kills you." Was here. Charge. Uh, level 320. 320. Three twenty. Three twenty. Three two. Four. Same level three. Level 350. 350. <laughs> During the Depression, everyone was asking, brother, can you par spare some slime? A dime. Charge, Michael. Level 450. 450. Five, four, three, two, one. Same level four. Long shot. All right. The Jubilation duo over there. Hey, 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 it's here for the plug. Cheer up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, now listen, that long shot takes you from the fourth level right on up to the sixth level, you see. Now there are three buttons over there, Penny, on your podium. I want you to press one of them right now, which will place a secret block on the sixth level. Go ahead. Now, there may also be a previously placed block on that level as well, but if you find the blooper and correct it, you still win the round. Anything else, though, and Penny will be the champion. Now, uh, you can discuss this. Incidentally, Michael, the sixth level is your responsibility. So, Michael, there are three positions up there. Which one do you want? Tom, level six, 200. Six, 200. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> Penny is <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. You sure did. Oh, boy, I'm you so did. sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the first level, others had flown in Paris, but Lindbergh was the first to fly solo. You see. On uh, second level. Oh, I thought that said Paris. No, no, Paris. Yeah. Well, I can't see either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On level two, the Constitution states the rights of citizens to vote oh. shall not be denied because of sex. So come on over here. We have a new champion in Penny Pacala and Clifton Davis. And we have to say goodbye, unfortunately, to Michael Renzi. But Michael takes with him $1,420. Michael, thank you for playing our game. Great time. I'm happy to hear that. Happy flying to you. Okay, bye bye. Well, now, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little bit of a rest, and we're going to give you... Oh, I know you can't keep going at this pace. And Clifton and Penny are going to go at $25,000, and we'll see how successful they're going to be right after these words for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Penny Picard, our current champ.
Penny, could you use $25,000? I sure can. Well, isn't that unusual that <laughs> she could do strange, that? strange, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, Penny and Clifton, I would now like to introduce you to Tan... What did you say you did for a living now? I'm going to nursing school. Nursing school. Nursing school student. All right. I would like to introduce you to Tan of the most dictatorial dirty birds who ever stood between a nursing school student and her money, and here they are. <laughs> I'm going to see what the dictatorial dirty birds have to lay on us today. All right, dirty birds, it says doctor on duty. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to need the doctor, not us. I certainly sure. hope so. Penny, all you have to do to win $25,000 is to get from villain number one through villain number 10. Now, it's just that simple. Mm -hmm. Now, between charging and blocking in the last game, you made $600. So Ooh. that means you've earned 66 seconds in which to run the gauntlet of villains. And now it is also your decision, Penny, as you whether you're going to take on the first five villains or the last five? I think I'm going to take the first five. The first five. And I invite you to go over there to villain number one. Clifton, down to villain number six. All and good right. luck to you both. All right. Now we're all set. And on the clock, we have 66 seconds. The gauntlet in the clock will begin with the first bell. The SPCA is the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Actors. Animals. The TV detective with the filthy, rumpled raincoat is Lieutenant Flasho. Columbo. The 1979 Nobel Peace Prize winner was Mother Goose. Madam Curie. A DP is a displaced parsnip. Person. Basketball player Julius Irving is known as Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> Every bee has three pairs of socks. Eyes. Uh, boxers are not allowed to punch below the equator. Belt. The Parliament of Israel is called the bagel. A yearly event, the Calgary Stampede is Canada's most famous disaster. Rodeo. The handsomest man in the world was the nickname of silent screen star Francis X. Bushman. Okay. The musical Evita is about Eva Gabor. Eva Peron. Minneapolis and St. Paul are twin brothers. Cities. Life on Earth died out in Neville Shoes bestseller On the Pill. On the Pill. Time's up. Oh, that's all right. You did well. Quite well, with the time allotted. You got all the way. Come on over here, Penny. You got on by. Yes, there's a walk on by. Yeah, well, DIY would love that. Yeah, that's right. You got through eight of them, though, Penny. That earns for you $800. Added to your previous winnings brings up to $1,400. Right. And you can take on another challenger. Maybe you have another chance to play. We'll be her new challenger after this. Penny Piccala, current champ, $1,400. And here comes your new challenger in the form of Arnold Fishman. Come in here, Arnold. Hello there. Hi. Clifton Davis right here. Hi. Just that stuff, Arnold. Good luck. Well, originally I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I live in Dallas, Texas now. And presently I'm a salesman for a food service equipment distributorship. How'd you get on the show if you live in Dallas? Well, I've been watching it uh, for about three or four months now, and uh -huh. I decided I wanted to be on this show. And I rode in, I came out, visited my sister, took the interview, and Made about it. a couple weeks Terrific. later, they told me to come on. Isn't that nice? It's fabulous. Yeah. He picked you. And now that he's out of Dallas, he's the only viewer we had down there. Oh, God love you. <laughs> It'll I bet you have two more after today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll bet so. Arnold, you get to choose. On the first board, it's Around the House, and the second one is Literature. On Around the House, you want to charge a block? On uh, Around the House, we'll charge. You'll charge, all right. Then you know what that means. You're going to charge right on out of here. All you two, right. go on. Out of sight okay. and out of hearing. And you two are going to get over there in blocking position. There they go. Now, you get to place uh, six blocks. And uh, you know all about this, Penny. Yes. But, okay, so Penny, the first three blocks are yours. Uh, level six, 350. Mm -hmm. uh, level four, 50. Yeah. One and more level four, 30. Marsha. Tom, let's have uh, <laughs> let's have your level five, your thirty, your forty, and your fifty. Oh, your thirty, your forty, and your fifty. Oh, you're really mean. <laughs> I mean, you look sweet, but mean. And... I love oh, mean, mean, mean over mean? there, especially mean? Ms. Wallace. Oh, I tell you. Well, anyway, you'll find out. We'll we see. We like good competition. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Well, you got it. We're gonna get them. Arnold, tell me who's gonna start. Uh. How do you feel on that? Any way you want to go. Okay. Uh, 
I'll let Clifton start. All right, so he gets one, three, and five. It's around the house, 60 seconds on the clock, so giving me the level and the money amount charge. Level one, fifty dollars One fifty. <laughs> Knockers are found in the front of Housewives. Doors. House. <laughs> charge, Arnold. Level two, thirty. Two, thirty. If you have a maid in your house, she probably makes your husband every morning. Bed. <laughs> Charge Level 50. three, fifty. Three fifty. The process for teaching a dog not to mess in your house is called do unto others. Paper training. Charge, Arnold. Level four ten. Four ten. The people right next door to you are called eavesdroppers. Neighbors. Charge. Clifton. Level five twenty. Five twenty. A man who answers the door and takes your hat, coat, and business card is called a thief. Butler. Charge, Arnold. Level six, five hundred. Six, five hundred. A skull and crossbones on the bottle means the contents are for pirates only. Not for children. You got it. Hey! Good. All right. Good. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come on over here. Get I thought I told you two to put some blocks up there. Now, I what thought the you told me I was mean. I was setting out to be mean. Some mean. Did you happen to notice that's one of the nastiest boards we've ever had? And did you also notice that these two went through it like that? I didn't think it was that hard. I know. Oh, did you? <laughs> we'll be right back. Talking about the upcoming category. Incidentally, we're out of time for today, and the score is one to nothing, Arnold and Clifton's favor. We'll continue from there tomorrow. That'll change, that'll change. Brian. Yes, I know that. But literature is your strong field. Where did you go to school, Marsha? Oh, Tom. <laughs> yes, Marsha. <laughs> Parsons College, Fairfield, Iowa, it went bankrupt. Fairfield, Iowa, yeah. Parsons College. That's right. And your major was literature, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, drama, English, you name it. Is that right? Yeah, I taught school. And the, but the school's no longer there? No. Oh, really? That's true. You were also on the Bob Hart News Show. Uh, the Bob Hart News Show. <laughs> It'll but get easy for you to say. The Bob Hart Show, and that's but off you now. Don't that's say. off now. The, the, well, what worries me is now you're on... Now I'm on this. You could be off the air next week, my friend. <laughs> we hope to see you tomorrow on... <laughs> yeah. Some Friday Party contestants will receive the Kodak Colorburst 250 Instant Camera. The built-in electronic flash, bright, brilliant color by Kodak develops right before your eyes. Legs, wide band, knee highs. The wide band keeps them up comfortably. And two pair of egg with rookie five pair canister. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. Deco, soil-free plant system that eliminates watering and feeding guesswork to produce beautiful, hardy plants from the Deco Plants Home Party People. A wall clock and golden grain macaroni and cheddar dinners made with enriched elbow macaroni, creamier cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors from Golden Grain Macaroni Company. This is Rod Roddy speaking. It's a Jay Walker presentation in association with the Bud Austin Company. 